Now, it seems the most natural thing, sleeping with your baby, but 55 to 60 babies a year, most less than six months old, die because of it. Rotorua coroner Wallace Bain has called it an epidemic. Over the past five years, in his region alone, 26 babies died because they were sleeping with adults. We sent reporting Ngā Huia Wade to the Bay of Plenty to investigate. Any baby that dies is the big deal. Got death, SID, SUDI, S-U-D-I, different names, same kaupapa. A whānau who are most likely to experience SUDI in their family are families that think it's okay for mamas to smoke in pregnancy. So it's unfair to say that SUDI only affects poor family or put families in poverty, it affects anyone and everyone. Ranginoi was my son that I lost from cot death. He was sharing a bed with us and the blankets, he wrapped himself within his blanket and we couldn't hear his cry. Who found him? I did. I actually thought he was still sleeping. I thought he was just still sleeping. He was face down. Didn't really come to think that it had happened until I went to wake him for a feed and he never woke. So, first thing was shock. I froze up, I didn't really know what to do. Um, I tried waking my baby, called for help woke my partner and I performed CPR. That was really hard because I tried so hard and he didn't come back. She sleeps in her own bed now, She's, and um, I have done since I've lost my son. I've, all my children have had their own beds. Um, I use a safe sleep mat, which stops babies from rolling. So, um, yeah, my house is smoke free. There's a lot of things have changed and within my house. So. It's an intergenerational thing, like a nan that says it's okay for her to smoke because I smoked in my pregnancy. They don't understand um, that maybe tobacco is a lot different to in their day, and the you know the toxins within that cigarette and what they're doing to that PP. Sometimes the parent, the whanau are not understanding that that baby is not getting the essential, essential oxygen it needs. He huhua ngā take e mate o horere ai, ngā pēpi i a rātau e moe ana, e ngari no te whānau tonu, te tikanga. Families need to take a good stance. I was talking to a mum who smoked in pregnancy and I said, what would have helped you to stop smoking? And she said, nothing. I wanted to smoke. If my whānau supported me, they stopped smoking around me, then I would have stopped smoking. It's about whānau taking some responsibility. It's not all about the mama. He ta tauranga whakaohoho i ngā tau e whā kua hipa, he ono te kau ngā pēpi, kua mate i te moe. As a kaimahi, you can only sew so much and you can only give brochures so much, but you need to get the whānau to support you and the mum and their nuclear whānau to be able to make a change. So we've got these courses, we've got a little bit of education going on in the communities. Why are we still killing one baby a week? I think our, our people are just poorly educated and are unaware that the, you know, the importance of these courses, like the antenatal courses, and just don't know how to access it and don't see it as a need. You know, you have whānau that tell you how to do things and you just follow on from that. You know, you're always looking for your whānau, to your whānau for knowledge and education. And sometimes it's not the best knowledge and education that they can, you know, that you need. <laughs> like we've all got the nanny yes. who tries to get our babies onto, um, onto bottles. Onto the bottle, yep. 
and yet breastfeeding is the best. It's been, you know, proven that it's the best for our pipi. Um, I myself, my mum told me that, say, you know, sleep a baby on their puku because they sleep longer. Oh, okay, te pai, so that's what I'm doing, sleeping my baby on their puku, and then I find out that it's actually not the best practice. It's actually, yeah, sleeping them on their back. Kia ora. Kia ora. But for five babies, you sleep yep, them on sleep their puku? Yeah, sleep them on their puku. Yep, just because, you know, it, I was told that that's what you do. And me being a mum at 15 with my first children, you're going to take advice from your whānau because you don't know anything else. <laughs> E mātua mōhio ana a te kupenga hauora me anga kīhea hei whakatika i te raru. Our programs uplift the whole whānau, encouraging our wahine Māori to take care of their own tinana uh, from the start, from healthy eating, kai pai, kai ora, so that they are able to carry healthy babies. One of the things we're supporting also within our service is to supply a wahakura to ensure that baby has their own sleeping space and that space is known to, to everyone in the whanau where baby can sleep without interruption. But surely whanaus know all that? In many instances, yes. In some, there is not that space in the home. Our way of, of supporting mums and families to do that is to provide a wahakura. Why can they relate to them? Because the harakeke is part of them. It belongs to the whenua. It's the touch. It's the smell. And it's part of them. And it belongs to them inside. Breastfeed, change your sleeping habits, stop smoking. Have a safe place for the baby, for the pee, -pee. And a wahakura is that safe place. It's about whānau taking some responsibility. It's not all about the mama. It's the pee, -pee that we more, you know, that's our future generation. We want to make something good for them, give them a good start in life.